What'd you say to me? We own you. You don't own me, punk. I work with your father, all right? Oh, look at you. It's great. You're gonna come into my shop and you're gonna pull a gun on me. Ah, that's great, man. Come on. Now, you, you kill me right now, or you get the fuck out of my shop. Have you been in that situation when you turn up your PC and you open the 3D app of your choice and you're trying to make a very simple model texture and just probably render it and, and maybe share it on your social media and for some reason your computer is not enough it doesn't have enough power to get you out of the the hassle which you've just found yourself into or maybe for some reason the 3d application you're working with doesn't have all of the features that you want to make use of probably because you're not able to purchase the ones that have licenses and all that well today i'm going to talk about a very free 3d application that's out there and it's for free it's online you can do whatever you want the only thing you need to get is a browser and then you can be able to do whatever you want to do hi guys and welcome back to ask nk in today's video we'll be talking about a 3d app called Vectory. Vectory is uh, a 3D app that is based off on your web browser. So what this app does is basically it's a 3D app that has been made easy for beginners that want to get into 3D to be able to, you know, get into uh, texturing, modeling, and probably lighting their scene without having all of those hassles of installing stuff and maybe paying for licenses, watching a bunch of tutorials and all that. So with this app, you can be able to just simply get on with making very cute models and probably light them texture them and also render them if you want to see how to get on with this you can find it at vectory.com i'm going to put the link in the description so that you can find it and originally this app was targeted for the card industry but over the time it made its way into the design industry so if you are coming from either of these parties you'll be able to simply walk right into it and get something done for yourself so let's get right into this app and see how it works like i said earlier first of all you need to get a web browser which i believe everyone has and then go to vectory.com also you need to get an internet of course obviously so once you go to vectory.com the first thing they will ask you to do is to sign in so you have to sign in for you to be able to create a profile that you can work with then once you've done that you're just simply going to click on start designing and automatically it's going to get you to a page an empty space where you can do all of your design stuff it's very easy very intuitive the learning curve is super easy it doesn't uh, take you about 15 minutes for you to know exactly what you want to do it's going to be very fun for people that are already professionals in the 3d industry for them to just simply play with this tool at their free time and see what they can do and if you're coming into 3d or you're trying to get into 3d i think this is going to be a very good uh, spot for you to you know play with and get your things done one thing to also mention is the vectory has two types of membership so you have a free membership that is something which i'm using already and it simply means that you can do your 3d stuff and i think you're licensed to about using five different projects and after five projects every other five private projects actually and every other thing becomes more like a community project and when you become a premium member you'll be able to invite other people to you know uh work or collaborate with you at the same time they can be working on the same file with you so it, because it's strictly and it's basically online everything you do is in real time so let's see how this app works first and foremost once you're greeted with this interface you're going to find a space here that is for your 3d assets this is really amazing because most of the things that you probably would want to design exist here already and knowing fully well that most of the stuff that you may want to do with this things are not going to be completely uh complex stuff like maybe character modeling not like you cannot make char characters here you can make characters you can make amazing characters here but for very simple and uh, simplified stuff you would probably get something that you want to make use of start off from here and the cool thing is once you're done you can simply export this to uh any 3d application of your choice you can choose to also render it here so let's just start off with something very simple so you can either click and drag so let me just click and drag this fish tank right inside in the middle and if you press a on your keyboard it's going to just go all the way out and focus on the entire stuff 
if you press R on your keyboard or you click render here which is actually R simply means render you can actually start seeing the object render automatically you can also uh, hover around here to make sure that the render is not draft maybe if you want it to be super high the render starts ray tracing super high I don't know if I would call that ray tracing but all the same there's this progressive rendering that happens and at the same time you can see how this uh, thing ties up into your scene how do you navigate around here we haven't talked about that so if you want to navigate around here with your middle mouse button you will be able to zoom out and zoom right in and if you push the middle mouse button you can also do the same thing zoom out and zoom right in if you use the right click you can simply just pan around your scene and the left click you can use it to rotate pretty much like some other 3d apps i've worked with before but not exactly like this I think because the buttons are quite switched off so you don't need to ham you don't need to touch a keyboard for you to be able to do this and this is very and this is very interesting because that means on your tablet with your pen and maybe on your iPad or maybe on any other stuff that you have that just demands a pen you can simply just use a pen and make all the models you want and if you click on this bugger menu right here you'll be able to import stuff you'll be able to save stuff you'll also be able to play with the settings the available settings that that are here so you can also choose to play with the dimensions and so on and so forth very very amazing stuff like right now we don't want to see this fish tank anymore we can just simply press the delete on our keyboard or you can use this menu here click and then you can simply delete this there's just a lot of things happening here it will blow your mind when you start working with this tool and all of a sudden you forget the fact that you're actually working online so if you go over to new object you'll be able to put this particular one in an x-ray view and start a new project altogether or you can just simply come through select this and either turn it off turn it back on or simply delete it. so i'm just going to use the keyboard and press delete and get this out of the way as cool as that is i would also want to simply start something new so let's uh, go through and just simply start something new i'm just going to click on new project and then let's play with this tool and see how it works so first of all you can choose to draw uh, things by freehand so if you select freehand and just simply do something like this you'll be able to just draw uh, stuff freehand which is uh, things like your splines and your curves that you can use as profile shapes and so on and so forth you can also choose to uh, make use of this to you know smooth things out if you want to create uh, circles you can smooth things out you can also increase and reduce the distances so instead of using the menus where you get to see properties here you can actually just simply use these properties to play with it if i want this to be about 30 i can just simply press 30 and there it goes and if you've taken a quick peep up at this stuff you'll find that it has this parametric kind of uh, gizmo which simply means that once we want to start making a uh, new stuff i'm just going to select this and delete this as well once we want to start making new stuff i'm going to bring out a small cube here and just simply change this about a size like this and something like this so we have something like this and i can just increase the height and maybe something just exactly like that okay so i was talking about the parametric gizmo so once you look at this gizmo you find out that it has the more it has the uh, scale it has the transform and the rotate on all of the possible sides that you would want to scale rotate and manipulate or transform your object if you want to start uh, playing with the vertices all you need to do is just simply right click you can right click and start uh, editing the geometry you can press enter to start editing the geometry or you can simply double click and then automatically you can start editing the geometry if you've worked with 3d studio max before or you've worked with uh, other apps like uh, okay i don't think cinema 4d does that i think 3d studio max so if you work with 3d studio max before and for some good reason you've been able to play with the editable poly you find out that once you press one automatically it goes to the point once you press two it goes to lines or edges like it's pronounced or called in maya in cinema 4d and once you press three it goes to face uh, it goes to the faces or polygons like it's called in other 3d apps as well so once i simply click on this particular one now if i hold down shift just like you do in 3d studio max and in maya if you hold down shift and you scale this in you see you can actually extrude that if you hold down shift and you push this up you can see you can also extrude that so very fun stuff something you can simply 
uh, work with and also if you want to simply make use of the menus here you can simply use E so if I just uh, click here you can see I can make use of these menus here to simply work with this and by now you might have noticed that this automatically starts snapping to a certain angle it's because we have snapping turned on here you can come through and just simply turn off the snapping but for this particular stuff we don't we don't care about the snapping so we're just going to move on you have other stuff that you can play with here these are the mesh tools so if you want to maybe play with the mesh to maybe increase reduce create something fun you can go ahead and just simply make use of this mesh tool to do all of that that stuff so if i come back to this i'm just going to press enter just to let this be if i come back to this i can choose to make multi cuts or single cuts okay so we can do this and create multi cuts by using this so if i do something like this i can also come through and create multi cuts from the top all the way to the bottom I can also do the same thing from the top all the way to the bottom, something like that. So it is some it is an app I think that you would really enjoy playing with, especially if you're getting into 3D, or maybe you just want to try something new. You just want to get a, a fresh air of something totally different, something that's not uh, Maya Blender, Three Max, or Cinema 4D, or Modo. You just want to try something new for a change, or you don't have a a powerful PC to get some of those things that you want to do out of your uh, computer and, and all that so you can try with something like this uh, one more thing I should talk about is once you want to make your selection just like you do in every other 3d app just like you do in every other 3d app once you want to make a selection of a particular object you can just simply click hold down shift and go ahead and click and select and there's a very cool thing that this app does that or this software does that I like so much it has this multi menu if you've used Maya before you find out that in Maya you also have the ability to make use of this multi menu okay so you have the ability to make use of this multi menu if you uh, simply press down tab so I'm in a view like this if I simply press tab it goes all the way to an autographic view okay so this is just something I think you should also have in mind so I'm just going to go ahead and find something like this and I'm going to make multiple selections I just want to show you guys something really cool something really really cool so I'm just going to go all the way and have something like this selected and what I would like to show you guys is this button here that says make circle okay so if you just simply click here automatically it makes circle everyone that's coming from 3d studio max anyone that's coming from maya anyone that's coming from uh apps like cinema 4d would know that something like this took a while before we all got it to happen but here it is on the internet for free and then you can just simply you know just hold down the transform button and just simply you know transform this to what you want it to be and at the same time if you want to make a selection of multi faces once you just simply select hold down control and double click once you just simply select hold down control and double click you can make selection of uh, multi faces and this is something that is really incredible and just to know that this exists for free and you can just use it online so if i go ahead and just simply select the entire belt the entire uh edges like this I can right click and create a bevel or I can just simply come here click and create a bevel or I can press B on the keyboard and once I have this B once I select B you get to see this tiny stuff and I can create the bevel that I want okay then you can create the bevel that you want and whenever you're done doing whatever you're doing you can just simply click on done edit and there you have it the object that you've modeled is ready for you to make use of at any time you want to jump back into editing you can just jump right in and start editing another thing i would like to uh, show you guys before we uh, start wrapping things up is i have this model here and let me just simply make a, a selection of this model and if i choose to smooth this model out just like you do in let's say i want to add some subdivision to this i just need to like just simply click this mesh tool click on smooth and then if I start rolling this you see I can smooth this to how much or I can smooth this to whatever amount I want so I might just end up to smooth so I might just end up smoothing this to something like this let's make it like 4 and 4 looks good I'm going to press escape just to jump out of that view let's just rotate this a little bit and there you have it 
other things that you can do from here onwards is uh, you can share your project like we've talked about before and you can share these and export these as both STL GITF which is for Facebook and these are the uh, ones or maybe you can just ship it all the way to sketchfab or maybe some other 3d repository site you can also share these on the repository site that they have here and you know shapeways and all that you can share your stuff there you know and for texturing you can come through and texture this and actually speaking about texturing let's look at something that we've imported before so you can also come through and import your uh, saved work or something that you've gotten from the internet you can come through and import it here then once you have that imported you can also come here and change the lighting condition of what you want to uh, work with so you can come here and change the lighting condition as well you can come here and change the lighting condition you might not see that so i'm just going to set this to high and then you can see the object rendering you might not also see how it looks like with the base so just because we don't have a base and let's just simply let's just simply add one so i'm just going to come through and just simply add in a new cube and i'm going to use that cube okay so i'm just going to go ahead and use this cube as the floor and you can see that it's rendering automatically even without us refiring the renderer so i'm just going to you know come all the way here just a little bit and rotate this about this point and you know just zoom right here and keep it there and also you can play with the lights that they have here so they have mostly all the kinds of lights that you want to make use of in your project so we have this area lights which is called rectangular light from uh, this app so you can come through and you know just use the area light to punch in some some looks somewhere like there and you can also use this to play with how much uh, intensity you want the lights to have you can also change the color of the light let's add some some red to this you can change the intensity of the light as well you can also change the width how how wide and how small you want the lights to be so this is technically a complete 3d program for just modeling stuff i know there's a lot of things that might not be here but for the most part once you're getting your feet wet into 3d or you just need something you can play with obviously this is more than enough for you to get yourself started and there you have it i would like to know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends if you are not subscribed to this channel simply hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you get updates the next time i upload a new video and until i see you guys next time peace